everyone. Welcome to LAX. Right behind me, you can see is the security line. I did not have to go through security today. The last couple times I've been uh, randomed. I don't know if I've talked about being randomed before, but if you uh, go through the KCM line, which is the crew member line, uh, sometimes they do randoms where they send you through the regular line. You get randomed, you go through regular security, and then um, usually you can go through TSA creature. So you don't have to, um, don't have to wait in a long regular check line, but um, I did not have to do that today, so that's nice. And also, um, I got here with about 15 minutes to spare, so I was able to walk in at a somewhat leisurely pace. I am a little bit sweaty right now, so. Um, but anyway, I am going to head down to my gate area, and I will talk to you soon. Hi right, guys, so I'm on the aircraft now, and I am working the C position today this trip again. Um, lately, C has been the least favored position for most flight attendants. Used to always be A, but now it's C. So most people are kind of steering clear of C, mainly because you are really in the mix when you are the C. You are always around most of the passengers. Uh, a lot of the time, uh, your jump seat is in full view and you have to stare at the front row during takeoff and landing. Um, you don't really have a great spot for your stuff. Like the A and the B have specific spots and the C kind of just has to scramble for their own space. And uh, it's just, it's not the best. It's not the best. It used to always be A because A has so much work. There's still a lot of people that really don't like to do A. Oh, and also the C has to um, do the bulk of the tidying when we uh, get to the next airport. So we have to straighten the seat belts, pick up any trash that's left behind. And sometimes tidying um, ends up being more of like a full cleaning job. And uh, so we're hoping, fingers crossed, that maybe in our contract uh, we'll have cleaners. And I have some good news regarding our contract. I'm gonna say that later when you can hear better. I know the sound is probably not that great right now. So anyway, um, we're getting ready to board in about one minute, so. Here we go. Hi guys, so I'm checking in on our second leg. We are getting ready to go from Denver to Spokane. I hope that you can hear me okay, but um, we had to get downgraded on our last flight to a 700. So we had four flight attendants. So um, what happens then is that um, the most senior flight attendant gets to deadhead and then the um, whoever is the most junior. No, it's not the other. I don't know how that works, actually. Actually, I don't remember. I keep having people come and like, try to sit where I am and pick me up, because I'm talking. Um, so now we're on a uh, 800. I have my own galley, thank you, Lord. And Here's the kicker for this trip. Last trip I had four legs a day and I had to clean the plane. <laughs> this one, I only have to clean once a day. Yay. Hello and good morning. It is about almost 11 here in Spokane, Washington and I am running downstairs to go meet up with a crew member to go have some coffee and uh, take a walk down by the river. Um, it looks a little windy out there. It's only 50 degrees, but I uh, I put my pickleball um, beanie on just in case because uh, I don't want to be cold. <laughs> and I didn't bring uh, my big jacket. Hopefully that was not a fatal error <laughs> in my judgment. But anyway, so we're going to go walk around uh, Spokane. I have taken you guys on many a Spokane trips. I will take a little bit of footage as I walk around. Sorry, I keep looking down because there's lots going on down there. Um, but I'll do a little footage of the river just so you can remember how beautiful it is here. And if you've still never come, try to put it on your radar. Um, now that it's becoming spring, it's going to be beautiful up here. I know a lot of people come up and do um, like river rafting and um, like adventure trips like that. So Anyway, just uh, wanted to throw that out there, so I'm going to go find some coffee, and I'll check in on the river.
We had a great time. We went into this little coffee shop called Atticus. If you're familiar with To Kill a Mockingbird. This comes from that book. And I like it especially because I have some really annoying jays in my backyard. And this other half of the store is full of little candles and books and cards and t-shirts. And there's my co-worker, Daniel, who was a lovely, pleasant, amazing flight attendant who just started about six months ago. And this is the walk down the main road all the way to the river, which is one of my favorite places to go because it is just so gorgeous. And then we're back on the airplane. Off we go. And we are on an 800 again, which is awesome. And our second overnight was in Omaha. This is the view for my room and it was so cold. And as I said before, I did not bring my jacket, so I didn't go anywhere. Hello everyone. It is day three and I'm going home, going home. Uh, we have two legs tonight from here in Omaha to uh, Chicago Midway, and then a long leg to LAX. And you might recall me mentioning that that last, last flight out of Chicago Midway to LA, not my favorite to work, not my favorite, but couldn't resist the trip. So, and I don't, I'm not supposed to land to like 1230 or one or some crazy nonsense. So I will definitely be sleeping in tomorrow. Um, I did not do anything today. It was in the 30s and windy. And I, for some reason, thought it'd be a good idea to not bring my coat. I think because the last few times I brought it, I have, when I use it, I'm too warm. Or I bring it and I don't use it. So anyway, it was gray and cloudy and cold. So I just stayed in. I got some coffee downstairs. There's a Starbucks right in this hotel room. I mean, in my hotel room. <laughs> in this hotel. And I came back up and I literally took like little naps and I worked on my crocheting like a little old lady and thoroughly enjoyed just relaxing. So I am all ready to go to work. I'm a little crooked here. Um, what else do I have to say to y'all? Nothing. Um, I'm on vacation next week. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm on vacation. I uh, took my vacation days and I thought about picking up a trip, but um, since we do have uh, my brother-in-law's memorial at our house in May, I think I'm going to work on getting some yard work done, cleaned up and whatnot um, this week. And also, next Thursday is my birthday. So uh, some friends and I are going to go celebrate down in L.A., going to a place called Hamburger Mary's, if you've ever heard of it. Um, it's a very fun um, club where they do drag shows. <laughs> Hopefully uh, everyone is down for the drag shows because uh, my daughter and I love to go to drag shows. So about six of us are going to go. We're going to get a little Airbnb and hang out down in Hollywood. So uh, that's about it. Um, I highly doubt I will be recording anymore since we'll be getting in super late. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this trip. Thanks a lot for coming along with me. And I look forward to checking in later. I'll try to post some uh, stuff of our my birthday, maybe. I'll try. So these are my gorgeous best friends that spent my birthday with me. That's my daughter to my left. And here's just a few videos of some of the queens at the show, um, which was totally fun. And we had a you know, time. as I had talked about, let me just say this, I had talked about doing like a day off video. And it's funny, once I get on my days off, like I just don't think about pulling out my phone to video. I think because when I'm working, I don't have much to do. I don't have anything to like distract me other than, you know, going and seeing things or doing things or eating or whatever. So it's more and more focused on, you know, videoing. So when I get home, I'm like, just do my regular daily life. I don't think about like, oh, someone want to watch this video. <laughs> so anyway, 
I will still try to do uh, like days at home, but I, I just keep forgetting. I'm so sorry. So anyway, that's all. Have a great day.